Hey guys, I was up here picking some of my persimmons. And as you can tell, these are the more ripe ones. And then I've got, let me show you these two. These two, they're not ripe, but there's a few others in there. But this one's getting close to ripe. You can pick them if they're about this close to ripe, but you really don't want to pick them if they're still as yellow as this one is. But what you can do, the only thing about picking them like this, and I need to pick them like this because my critters will eat them, raccoons and whatever else, um, is what you can do is you can pick them when they're like that right there. They're still kind of firm, but yet they're starting to turn. And you can put them in the freezer. What I do is I'll just freeze all of mine and leave them in there for one day. Just freeze them for one day. And that'll take the bitterness out of your persimmon so that I can turn around and make me some preserves with them. That's what I'm planning on doing with them. So I wanted to share that with you. And i got another thing I want to show you. I've been out spring it well. I brought these in finally. I dug up my potatoes today, my sweet potatoes. I got a ton of these. I can't really tell because <clears throat> they're in this box right now. And this potato, has, I've had these for about five years now, and they always have some of the biggest potatoes in them. And no, they're not mealy. A lot of people might think they might be mealy because of that, but they're not. They're not mealy at all or stringy. So I was tickled with that. Uh, but I want to show you my uh, Roselle bush one of them there's my Lincoln Joseph rose or Joseph's cut rose I'm sorry that I planted for my grandson that passed away she's done really pretty she was really small and she's going to grow up that vine really well for me this year and there was another this was given to me during that time that rose there so I planted it out here I just put this little booger out here. My Autumn Joy sedum. She got so heavy she splattered this year. But she's still pretty. Pollinators love her. It's breeding season. So all them's hunkered down together for a while. I got some labella growing right in the center of that right out there, which was kind of weird because most of it's growing over here next to the creek. I don't know if you can see it. It's purple. But they're all doing well. But I've been down here pulling out more stuff out of the garden. That's where my... I had a bunch of volunteer zinnias coming up and my um, cypress vine, hummingbird vine, whatever you want to call it. And I didn't put a trellis out for her this year, so I just let her go crazy. But I kind of like it. The bees are enjoying them. So, as you can see, I've just been pulling out where I pulled out my... Here is one of my roselles. You can see it here. Let's see, the leaves are kind of shrinkled up where it's hot right now, but I'm getting more buds on it again. I had gotten buds earlier on, but now this one here in particular is just going crazy with buds. So I'm tickled with it. I got that from Dan, from Dan's Permaculture. This is my second year doing them. And they've really done really well this year. That's where I've dug up my sweet potatoes. I still have a ton of basil and pepper plants in here. My tomatoes are over there. They've about done what they're going to do. i still got some tommy toes blooming out. My okra, a lot of it got ate from the muskrat that I've been battling. I finally tied up my uh, sorghum because of it because they were pulling them over because they did my sunflowers and I pulled all my sunflowers out they were all around through there so I about pulled out everything I threw my vines out uh, from my sweet potatoes and just left them there I've got some um, oh bitter melon here and I've got that one up off the ground a little bit 
it didn't do so hot. I'm hoping maybe next year it will. This it's actually done really good after it got climbing up this fence here, and I didn't. And but and then I've got some fennel out here. I think I've got about four of those left. That's coming out pretty good. And I've just pulled out everything, just about. The bees are still wearing this basil out. We'll let some of it go to seed. But I've topped it and topped it and topped it, and I got tired of topping it. So it went. I've got enough for the whole county now. Went crazy. But anyway, I wanted to show you all that. I hope you ends are having a good week and everything. I've been having a pretty good one. We're supposed to get hot again this coming week. So I guess I won't get as much done outside as I have this week. But until then, we'll see you guys later. God bless.